Welcome. Today we'll be making a butter bean tortellini with a smoky andouille white bean broth. I'm Chef Anthony, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. We're going to begin by making our broth. So we're going to start off with some unsalted chicken broth. A little bit of dry white wine. And some smoked turkey necks. Now you could change up the meat by using ham hocks or smoked pork bones, or even a little bit of liquid smoke. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil, then lower it down to a simmer and let it go for about 20 minutes to really extract that smoky flavor, to cook off some of the alcohol in the wine and make this a really nice hearty broth. Now I'm gonna get the ingredients to make my butter bean filling. So let's get our filling started. First, we're gonna take our strained butter beans and put them into our food processor. Next, we're going to add a little bit of garlic paste and anchovy paste. And then we're going to pulse this to give us a nice chunky filling. And it's okay if you see bits and pieces of the butter beans in there because that's going to give the filling some texture. And there we go. Once I see it spinning around, I know that I got most of it. So now we're gonna transfer this to a clean bowl. So to our butter beans, we're going to add some chopped parsley, one egg yolk, and we're going to stir this together until just blended. Now that egg yolk is going to help hold our filling together when it's inside the tortellini. It's also going to add a little bit of flavor to it, and then we're going to get the fresh flavor of the chopped parsley in there as well. So I'm gonna set this aside. I'm going to grab my wonton wrappers so we can start filling our tortellini. So here I have my wonton wrappers and I'm going to take just a few. You don't wanna work with too many at a time and you wanna make sure you keep the remaining wrappers covered with a damp paper towel. This will prevent them from becoming a little too brittle and prevent them from cracking also. Next, I'm going to use a cookie cutter or a ring mold to cut out my forms on the wrappers. And there you go. You just want to press down, pull off those edges, and you could discard them. So once you have them cut, separate them and just lay them out evenly. So I have my wrappers cut into the shape that I want. Now I'm going to start filling them. So using two spoons, I'm going to take about one and a half teaspoons of filling and set it right in the center. Now it doesn't have to be exact. And if this is your first time, it's good to start off with a little bit less until you figure out your comfort level. Um, and that'll keep you from adding too much filling to the tortellinis. Once I have my filling in place, Take a little bit of egg yolk, scramble it up, and just brush the bottom half. This is going to be our glue that holds it all together. Now that I have my egg yolk on the bottom half, I'm going to take the top, just fold it over that filling, and I like to press down right at the top so I know that I got it over the filling and I won't be squeezing any filling out of the top of the tortellini. Just pull them all over just like that. And now we're going to finish them up. So just keep sealing them around that filling and pinch out any air that might be stuck inside. Now we're going to take it, dip one corner into our egg yolk, put a little dimple right in the center, and then wrap it around your finger. And when you pinch it shut like that, you have that tortellini shape that we all know. I'm gonna set these aside under a damp paper towel to keep them from drying out. 
and just repeat with the remaining wonton wrappers and tortellini filling. So now that we have our tortellini complete, we're going to remove our smoked turkey necks from the broth. We're going to add our tortellini, and you can do it in small batches. Just be careful because the simmering liquid is hot and you don't want to burn yourself. Once they're all in the pot, give them just a gentle stir, and then we're going to raise the heat and let them cook for about four to five minutes. Once you see them come to a float at the top of the liquid, then you know you have about two to three minutes to go. I'm gonna grab the rest of our ingredients and I'll be right back. So now that our tortellini is floating, everything's ready to go. We're gonna finish this dish. So I'm gonna start with some fully cooked andouille sausage. We're gonna slice this into small coins. We'll add this to our broth. We just wanna heat this through. Then we're going to add some cannellini beans, undrained with the liquid and everything. And now it's time to add our fresh herbs. So we're gonna start with some rosemary, sage, We'll spice it up with a little bit of black pepper, and we're going to finish it with some aged sherry vinegar. Just give it a quick stir. I'm going to turn the heat up just to heat everything through, and we're ready to serve. I'm going to grab myself a bowl. I'll be right back. Wow, this looks great, and I could smell it from across the kitchen. I can't wait to try this. Make sure you get some of that broth and some of those cannellini beans. Then we're going to garnish it with a little bit of sliced green onion. Here we go. I'm going to give it a taste. That is delicious. I can really taste the smoke that came out of those turkey bones. And that vinegar gives it the perfect balance of acidity that just kind of makes it swish around your mouth. Now let's go for the star of the show, the tortellini. All those flavors together, the creamy butter beans, the fresh parsley, and you know, this wouldn't be the same without that hint of garlic and anchovies, because that really brings it together and gives it a nice, umptuous, savory flavor. Now it may take a few tries to get this tortellini filling and folding right, but this is one dish you want to try at home. Click the link below for this full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Thank you for watching.